So for my make a game concept with chat GBT, I decided to choose um, a 8v8 hero shooter because I don't think there are enough hero shooters at the moment. So I asked ChatGBT to create a rough concept for it. And it gave me the title Galactic Vanguard. It's a hero shooter that's set in a futuristic world where rivaling factions try to fight for resources. And then it talks about the basic features in the average hero shooter. Which didn't surprise me at all. These are pretty basic overall. Then I asked what type of new innovative game modes that this game will have. First, it gave me Temporal Rift, where people must navigate portals to, to get objectives, and there's different environments. Next is Galactic Conquest, where you have to manage resources to conquer planets. Nexus Assault, which is based off of a MOBA. And you got AI controlled minions. Zero Gravity Zone, where people navigate the map with zero gravity using jetpacks. And Reality Warp, where distortions and anomalies cause things to happen. And with time dilation, there's shifting terrain. I think that these modes are a pretty good idea and they surprised me quite well because they haven't really been done before. And then I asked what types of accessibility settings that the game will have. <clears throat> it gave pretty basic options except assistive technology integration which can allow players to um, ver who have disabilities to easily play the game. Then I asked about gyro and flick stick because I feel like that's an important accessibility setting that's lacking, especially on PlayStation. And then it talks about um, how gyro aim is incorporated. And then it talks about flick stick, which allows players to move the thumbstick in one direction. Then I asked what engine the game would be made on. Um, ChatGPT said that the game would be made on Unity because it's popular and versatile. It also has a robust, robust feature set that allows and makes it easy to, for making complex multiplayer games like a hero shooter. And it's supported across multiple platforms. Then I asked if it would have cross player cross progression. And chat GBT said yeah, cross play and cross progression is is available for the game. So that people can enjoy the game across multiple platforms and play with their friends regardless of what they're on. And it add, and it adds on to by saying that it wants to create a united and interconnected player community. Then I asked about very who who's gonna be in the game, what types of characters is this game gonna have, <clears throat> and then he gave me this list. So first, there's Vortex, which is a skilled pilot and a former pirate, and it has dual pistols and a dash maneuver. Aurora is an ambient healer that can deploy beacons to help enemies or unleash flashbangs. Titan is um, a robot that, that plays the tank role. Spectre is an assassin with dual blades and who can go invisible. Oracle is um, a hacker who can hack enemy drones and turn them against other players and disable electronics. Nova is a scientist who uses energy manipulation to make to make ranged attacks and create force fields. Then I asked 
if there was a campaign, what type of mission would it have, and how many people could play. So first, it gave me story missions, where you just embark on quests to uncover ancient artifacts, thwart enemy plots, and defend territories. It will feature cutscenes and dialogue interactions, <clears throat> and also scripted events to push the narrative forward. Then there are cooperative missions that require teamwork, where you would assault, where you assault enemy strongholds, rescue hostages, or escort convoys. Next is specialized challenges to test player skills. These missions have time trials, survival challenges, puzzle solving, or boss fights, and they they reward people with loot to encourage you to play these missions. Then there are dynamic events which happen randomly throughout the campaign. I thought that the dynamic events was a pretty good idea and the specialized challenges can also potentially help teach players about how to play the game. Then I asked what are the basic mechanics and it gave me pretty standard affair. But then I decided to ask how many abilities does each character have. So characters have a primary ability, which is usually defines the play style. Secondary ability complements that primary ability. And then the ultimate ability is meant to change the title back. This is pretty standard for the a hero shooter. Then I asked what type of action does the left bumper have. It gave me three options. So first was an ability modifier that can help change the potency and ability and provide additional strategies. Then there's equipment switch where people can swap out different loadouts. Next is their movement ability, like a dash or a roll. And then the fourth one is their utility, which can have tactics, tactical use or supported use. I thought that the ability modifier was really interesting because I think that in a hero shooter, being able to modify your ability can, can lead to some new strategies that can lead to fun gameplay. Then I asked what types of mechanics will make this unique from other hero shooters. So first it gave me dynamic environments which have collapsed structures, atmospheric anomalies that affect movement and visibility. Next was temporal manipulation which is how which can rewind or accelerate events that distort and create rifts that distort reality. Next is Galactic Conquest, which was the battle to control other planets in the galaxy. Then there was Zero Gravity, which was also talked about earlier, and Reality Warped Events that can bring in unpredictable elements to matches. I personally think that dynamic environments can be really interesting because I don't think hero shooters really do anything interesting with their maps and galactic conquest could lead to some nice clan clan wars to create a sense of community then finally i asked whether the game would be free to play or paid um, galactic vanguard is designed to be a free to play game and most of the microtransactions are cosmetic Free to play will allow other people to access the game very easily and will help it keep support over time.